It's Instagram, where we take photos off of Instagram of our favorite celebrities and let you know how to match that look. Our beauty editor, Jana, is joining me. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> Today, we're talking about flawless skin. So the first picture we chose was this beautiful picture of Lyra here. She looks absolutely flawless, and her makeup is almost nude. It doesn't really look like she's wearing mm -hmm. any. Amazing, amazing, beautiful skin. Our second photo is Sashi Naidu. She also is looking beautiful. It doesn't look like there's a single blemish on her face. And our third photo is our fave Jeannie D. She <laughs> looks so glamorous. And again, like it's a nude finish. Mm. It's not too colorful, but she just looks like radiant. Yeah, and I think one thing you should notice is that all of those are sort of selfies. They're not um, campaign images or it doesn't exactly. look like they were professionally taken. So that's obviously them doing their makeup themselves. Maybe a makeup artist, but they look amazing. And the, and the thing for me is that their skin all looks so flawless. So um, I know they're all beautiful ladies, but I mean, everybody has their <laughs> imperfections. So how do we get that flawless look? Yeah, well, maybe it's, it's real. Maybe it's with makeup doesn't really matter because they look amazing. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about a few um, foundations that we've got here. Okay. First of all, um, some people like to go for a liquid foundation, something like this Elizabeth Arden foundation, um, flawless finish, perfectly nude. Okay. And this retails for about $345, okay. which is quite expensive, but it's Elizabeth Arden and I think it's worth it. And I think this will last quite long. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Okay, so that was Elizabeth Arden, um, the flawless finish. Now, this one is Visible Lift, L'Oreal Visible Lift. And I think that this is great because you can see just on the front here, it says it has sunscreen mm. um, and serum in it. Yes. What does a serum do for your face? Well, a serum is just a very um, intense moisturizer. So okay. it's really just boosting your skin, giving it all the moisture and the goodness it needs. And that one's um, $2.99, which is a little okay. bit better price than that. Yeah. And I, was th I think that's the best one because it's also giving your skin um, good things that it needs. It's not just a makeup. Yeah. So it has serum, um, sunscreen, and pro-retinol A and vitamin C, <laughs> yes. which sounds like it could be sounds good great. for you. Yeah. So um, these are both liquid foundations. Yes. Um, how, how would you use liquid foundation? Well, first of all, it's important to remember not to, you have to match it to your skin tone, like we always say, like you can't exactly. choose a light one because you'll look too... Like you have a mask on. Exactly. <laughs> and if it's too dark, you're just going to look ridiculous. Yeah. And also how you apply it's really important. You don't want to leave lines. You want to blend it in properly, especially on your um, neck and around your ears. Mm -hmm. You can even put some on your ears, just rub it in yeah. there. And then just make sure that you can't see it. It shouldn't look pasty. It shouldn't look like, um, you know, like a... It should just look natural. And when applying a liquid foundation, would you use your finger or a sponge? I think it's better to use a sponge. Um, it'll just be more even and look more natural. Um, and also, you shouldn't put it all on at once. Just dab it everywhere and so that you can mix it in and blend it in properly. And also, remember to blend properly so that you don't see lines and that exactly. you can't see the difference between your, your face and your neck and even your ears. Okay, cool. So those are our liquid foundations. Those are very exciting. But I am actually a powder girl. Okay. I love the powders. Um, and we have this great assortment from Maybelline here. Yes. Um, why don't you take me through what a powder foundation can do for um, everyone's beautiful faces? Well, this is really cool. Um, they've just recently launched this, and as you can see here, the shades are amazing. It goes There's from so really, shades, really yeah. dark to very light, and which is awesome for a South African market as well, because we don't only have light people or really dark people. There's a range. Everyone, yeah. every shade, exactly. every color. And that's often a problem with, I think, with a lot of liquid foundations, um, but they, Maybelline's really got it right this time. So they've got a little sponge and everything, and um, these retail for 80, which is, I think, really good. That's an amazing price. Yeah, and so I think this is a good one to go for, especially if you like powders. Cool, well, I've picked out this one here. This is the nutmeg color yes. to match my skin. <laughs> um, and I think an important thing to remember with the powders, although they come with a sponge, you can use a brush for a lighter finish if you don't want too much makeup yes. on. Yes. So that's a great option with the powders. And another thing is, if you don't want to use this powder, if you're more a fan of a liquid foundation, but you do have a powder as well, you could maybe choose a powder in a darker color that you can use to contour and highlight with. Well, not actually highlight, just contour with to create 
um, the illusion of cheekbones and a slimmer nose or anything like that. Um, so if you're a shade lighter than this, you could choose this one to mm -hmm. do the contouring with, which is also great because it's like a multi, a multi tool. Okay, so obviously we're all going to look flawless this weekend yes. because we know um, how to pick our foundation and how to apply it. So thank you for joining me, pleasure. and I'll see you next week for our next beautiful Instagram tips.